Without advanced planning, probate may be needed to distribute real estate, bank accounts, and other assets. If you have a will, you designate the personal representative who manages your estate. You can also decide what powers the personal representative will have over your estate. There are many powers that you may or may not want to grant. The personal representative will have default powers under the probate code, such as the power to make bank deposits and dispose of your personal property. You may want to limit some of the powers that are listed in the probate code. Your personal representative will not have the power to sell the real estate that passes through your estate unless that power is specifically mentioned in your will. Without the specific written direction from you, the personal representative will have to go back to court and pay additional fees to obtain license to sell the house or other real estate. Under Massachusetts law, the decedent's property passes to the people to whom it is devised by the decedent's will, or if there is no will, to the decedent's heirs. But the identity of these people must be established. Probate is the system for establishing the identity of the rightful owners. Real estate and probate is discussed in this series in the video on formal probate proceedings. To avoid extra probate costs, prepare a will that has all the powers your family will need to protect and manage your estate. Don't leave gaps. Your will can limit or expand the powers of a personal representative to protect your estate carry out your wishes, and give your estate plan the best chance of working the way that you want it to.